This is how we make the moonshine. What's up, old monkey boy? What are you doing, peddling? Some ideas, I'm gonna throw that on paper. Just playing around? Yeah. Looks like you didn't sleep well last night. Uh, I didn't, man, to be honest with you. Just I can't get, to, get it off my mind, you know, about Richard and them being in town. Since me and Jerry run up on Richard and Craig, I've worried myself to death about what these guys are doing in our neighborhood. Don't come in here running liquor on our territory, and we'll leave y'all alone. What's so wrong about setting up running around? Well, there ain't nothing wrong with setting up. Because you're going to make it, you can't keep it. You're going to sell it, or you not? Oh, we got to sell it. Exactly. Well, that's right. where we're going to have a problem. We know he's here. We know he's going to make liquor. I'm not out to cause trouble. I ain't out to fight, unless it comes down to it. He's going to go try to hustle it out to any damn body he possibly can, and we got to put an end to it. We need to figure out where these guys are at and make sure they don't step on our toes. Well, we can't spend all day running around town looking for these guys. We got stuff we got to get done. I want to track them, so to speak. Hmm. Stick a tracking device under their damn car. So therefore, we only got to find them one more time. And if we find out they're, they're selling to any of our customers, you know, we'll just give them a little rude awakening. They're newcomers. They don't know the rules of moonshining. And they're going to do everything in their power to make as much money as fast as they can while they're here. And I know that. I've been there before. I've been that rookie. I need to nip this in the bud and stop it before it ever happens. Cheat and wipe device. Cheat and wipe device. Open that glove box. Is that, is that what we're going to use to put it on there with? Yeah, boy. Magnetic keyhole. Oh. The tractor itself is right here. In there. Take that, lay that in there. Oh, yeah. Close it up. When we find them, we'll get something in the front of the damn truck. Link it to the old phone. It just keeps up updating every so many minutes and showing you where that device is. Well, now we got a tracker and we got a nice little magnetic box to put it in. We've got one problem. We need something to put it on. That's right. All I got to do is find them. Me and Jerry, he can watch out for me. I can slip up to their vehicle. Put this thing on, get back in the truck, and leave. We got to do this without them knowing it. Don't worry. Uh, slip in on them like a damn wildcat. A wildcat? Heck yeah. Wildcat pretty sneaky? I'm talking about, boy, get down there and creep, son. You going to get down and crawl on the ground? I can. This I will I got, if I this have I gotta to. see. I'm going to get my phone. I'm going to have to record that if Shut I can. up, Gary. There's too many gadgets these days not to know where a man's at. That's the scary part. Me and Jerry have been driving all day long. I don't know what the hell Richard wants here, but all I gotta do is find their vehicle one more time and plant this tracking device. We can't afford to have anybody else selling liquor to our customers. Then we'll know. Richard and Craig is nowhere to be found. The hell they could be anywhere. Well, we're going to find where they're at eventually. For now, we got to get back to doing what we know how to do, and that's just make damn good alcohol and some good flavor stuff. You know, I've got an idea for a liquor that's not going to cost us anything. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's called uh, Mullen. Mullen? Mullen. Mullen. AKA Lamb's Ear. That's what we call them around now, here. Now, I've heard of Lamb's Ear before. This plant, man, has a ton of medical purposes to it. One of its main properties is to help with inflammation of the lungs, uh, dry coughs. So he's gonna find it right here on the side of the road? You can find it on the side of the road. You can be looking now, Jerry, for this plant. They call it the people plant, so to speak, because it shows up everywhere a human being has been disturbing the ground. Anywhere, like in people's yards, on the side of the roads, wherever, this stuff grows if man's been there. This one right here on the side of the road. Check that stuff out. That looks pretty good. It's got some pretty good leaves on it, too. We think he's four or five right here big enough? This will be plenty. Do what we need to do? Check these leaves out, how furry they are. I'll tell you what, they're pretty soft, ain't they? They are, until that felt. Yeah. Good for wiping that hind end with. I they see say. why the cowboys use it for toilet paper. I'm gonna have to try that. This is freebie, too. Yeah, that's a nice one. Got some big old leaves on it. Well, the mullein's got a kind of a peppery taste to the leaf. I figured maybe adding some good green peppers of a couple different types 
will help make it pop with flavor and maybe bring just a little bit of warmth to the throat. We like that free stuff, don't we? Yeah, interesting plant, I can tell you that. We're gonna have to head to the woods, get to the steel site, get this stuff mashed in and see what it's gonna taste like off that money pipe. Well, we'll get some damn mowing mashed in. We probably got six or seven good stalks, which is way plenty enough to do a run with. This stuff is very, very potent. I know this stuff is strong, but it's got a better taste and aroma. That smell is like none other. No, it's nice, ain't it? It is like so pleasant, really. On a peppery note. Look how that's just turning that water real good. Yeah, it is, already. We've got our mulling leaves in here, letting it macerate, do its thing. We're going to cut the fire down and strain our mulling tea. Ooh, look at Ooh, that. Ooh, that's pretty. It's cooled off enough to where we can put our hand in the tea. Let's strain this over and pour it back in the pot. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to take this nice, clean white pillowcase. We strain it all off. That way we don't have any particles, no dirt, no hairs off of the leaves that tickles your throat. Look at there. Nice, clean tea. Then we're going to pour it back into the pot and then start adding a little bit of pepper to them. It's gonna help give this tea a little bit of spice. Let's get some pepper going, son. Sweetie sugar, till it gets down there around the butt end of it. The damn bull's the same way. Wait till you get to the butt end. What is it? Mm -hmm. huh? Tail's wrong with you already? Pepper just shut my eye. Oh, hell. Mm. He's real sensitive to peppers. I just want to bring that peppery flavor out even more with the peppers into a nice, subtle, warm drink. You know what that almost reminds me of? What's that? A fresh pizza with pepper on it. Oh yeah, and that's what we're looking for, is that good peppery flavor. Nothing to scare anybody off that drinks it, but we'll be like, oh damn, that's good. So let's taste it and see what it's gonna be like. Yeah, yeah let's give us a little taste of it. Hot, hot. Yeah, that's warm. I'm definitely tasting the peppers. You're the sensitive one to peppers. Take you a little sip. Tell me what you think. If you think we need to add some more, we will. If we don't, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. I think we got enough in it. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. We got enough in it, for sure. I tell you what, I sure hope this liquor calms down a little bit with that hot, spicy taste, or else Mike's gonna be our only customer. That's gonna make good alcohol, though, once it comes out of that money spout. We've got our mixture made up. It smells really good. The tea taste is phenomenal. We're gonna pour it in here, add the cool water, add your sugar in, pitch the magic dust to it, get the hell out of here, and come back and run this stuff. And remember another thing. What's that? Do not urinate today without washing your damn hands first. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Let's check to see if this stuff's ready to go. I'm ready to taste some good old mullein pepper. Me and Jerry, we're coming to the steel site. It is time to run this mullein pepper, and I hope it turns out fine. Well, it smells good, I'll tell you that. It's nice and flat in there, ain't it? it? Sure is. Oh my God. Oh, that tastes good, don't it? It's damn good. I tell you what, I was really surprised. This has got a really good, smooth, mellow, peppery type flavor, but it's real subtle. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. If it comes off the worm tasting as good as the mash does. Shoot, man. Yeah, that stuff is. So let's get this sucker heating. It's pumped full of alcohol and you can taste them peppers coming through. We fix to cap this bad boy off, throw some steam to it, and get it running. You ready to strike it? Fire in the hole. It's out. Ain't no gas in it. <laughs> Jerry, we're gonna have to go get gas. You didn't think to check it, did you? No, we didn't. Oh my God. How in the hell could we have forgot to eat gas? It just comes to show you, no matter how much you do, how long you've been doing it, you're going to, by God, forget something. Oh, I'm getting angry. Yeah, I don't like to get that way. No. There's a little pizza place here in town. Pizza, sandwich shop, or something. Just don't let me miss that turn. Dude, look at that. That's your entrance. You landed right there. Oh, 
there's our, that damn, there's our truck. Enough, we don't want to get right on top of them, so let's pull over right here. Coming around the curve up here by the little park where Richard and Craig was eating last week. Both there. Both there again, huh? Both there again. Obviously, this is a normal hangout spot. I'm gonna get out, but you keep your eyes on them too. If, if they turn over that, toward that way, you blow the horn and get back to the truck. Okay. How you feel? Got it, got got it, it on there. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, now this bush is behind us. He'll never spot us. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Whew. Oh, they never even turned around. Boy, that, that, that. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. 